I've begun to really see Dollar General as like a criminal organization. You're stealing from my community. The Dollar General convenience store in Mineral Point was temporarily closed this weekend after all of the employees walked off of their shifts and quit their jobs. Did you know that Dollar General has paid millions in settlements over pricing discrepancies? In Ohio alone, they settled for a whopping $1 million. Yet the problem continues. Today we'll explore why this keeps happening and how it affects preppers like you and me. But just how big is this problem? And what does it mean for your preparedness efforts? Here's the thing. Dollar General's shelf prices often don't match what you're charged at checkout. This isn't just annoying, it's against the law. For budget-conscious preppers, these hidden costs can really mess up your plans. Think about it. Every dollar spent on overpriced items is one less dollar for your emergency supplies. Now let's dive into the shocking truth about Dollar General's pricing practices. Remember that settlement of $1 million in Ohio we mentioned earlier? The reasons behind it are mind-boggling. In Butler County alone, auditors found error rates as high as 88.2% at Dollar General stores. And no, that's not a typo. Nearly 9 out of 10 items were priced incorrectly. To put this in perspective, Ohio law allows for a 2% margin of error. Dollar General isn't just missing the mark, they're in a whole different ballpark. Think about what this means for your prepping efforts. Every time you walk into a Dollar General, you're essentially playing a pricing lottery. Will that can of beans be correctly priced? What about those batteries you need for your emergency kit? It's like trying to build your stockpile on quicksand. But Ohio isn't an isolated case. The pattern of deception stretches across multiple states. In Wisconsin, inspectors discovered that Dollar General overcharged customers for 9% of the products they evaluated. That's nearly 1 in 10 items ringing up higher than advertised. Imagine filling your cart with emergency supplies, only to find out at checkout that your carefully planned budget just went out the window. Vermont tells a similar story. Dollar General had to shell out $1.75 million to settle claims of deceptive pricing in the state. This isn't just a one-off mistake or a local issue. We're seeing a consistent pattern of overcharging across the country. Now, you might be thinking, so what if I'm overcharged by a quarter here and there? That's exactly what Catherine, a Dollar General customer, used to think. She said, it may only be 25 cents, but that adds up. And she's absolutely right. Let's break it down. Imagine you're building your three-month emergency food supply. You plan to buy 90 cans of various foods, one for each day. If each can is overpriced by just 25 cents, that's an extra $22.50 you're paying. That might not sound like much, but in the world of prepping, $22.50 could buy you a decent water filter or a small solar charger. Crucial items for your emergency kit. But it gets worse. Remember, we're talking about error rates up to 88.2%. What if half of your purchases are overpriced by a dollar or more? Suddenly, your carefully budgeted prep plan is shot, and you're left with less supplies and a lighter wallet. The impact on long-term prepping efforts is even more significant. Many preppers build their stockpiles gradually, making small purchases over time. If you're consistently overpaying on these small purchases, the cumulative effect over months or years can be substantial. That extra money could have gone towards more supplies, better quality gear, or even a small generator. So what's the true cost of these so-called bargains? Let's do some quick math. If you spend $100 a month on prepping supplies at Dollar General, and we assume an average overcharge of just 5%, which, based on the data, is probably conservative, you're losing $60 a year. Over five years, that's $300, enough for a high-quality emergency radio, a year's supply of water purification tablets, or a significant boost to your food stockpile. Now that we've seen the scale of Dollar General's pricing problems, you might be wondering, how does this even happen? Well, let's peek behind the scenes and uncover the root causes of these troubling discrepancies. The heart of the issue lies in staffing. Dollar General stores are often severely understaffed, leading to a host of problems that directly impact pricing accuracy. Think about it. When there aren't enough employees to handle basic tasks, things start falling through the cracks. And in this case, those things are the price tags you rely on to budget your prepping supplies. A former Dollar General employee shed some light on this issue. 
They revealed that updating prices on store shelves typically falls on store managers. But here's the kicker. With chronic understaffing, these crucial updates often don't get done. The result? Outdated shelf tags that don't match the prices in the system. But it gets worse. High employee turnover adds another layer to this pricing puzzle. When stores can't keep staff for long, it's nearly impossible to maintain consistent practices. New employees might not know the proper procedures for price updates, or they might be so overwhelmed with other tasks that pricing falls to the bottom of their to-do list. Reduced hours for employees compound the problem. With less time on the clock, workers are forced to prioritize tasks. Unfortunately, updating price tags often loses out to more immediate concerns, like restocking shelves or manning the checkout. These internal issues create a perfect storm for pricing errors. Imagine a new sale starts, but there's no one available to update the shelf tags. Or picture a price increase that gets entered into the system but never makes it to the physical price tag. These scenarios play out daily in Dollar General stores across the country. What's truly concerning is how this affects you, the budget-conscious prepper. You might think you're getting a great deal on canned goods or emergency supplies only to be hit with a higher price at checkout. And remember, every extra dollar spent on overpriced items is one less dollar for your emergency kit. Former employees have also reported that it's common for sale or coupon items to ring up at normal prices. Even worse, staff often avoid confronting customers about these discrepancies to prevent conflict. This means that unless you're vigilant, you could be consistently overpaying without even realizing it. So, how can you protect yourself from these pricing traps? Here are some key signs to look out for that might indicate a store is struggling with these issues. 1. Inconsistent pricing between similar items. 2. Frequent price check requests at the register. 3. Visible understaffing, like long lines or unstocked shelves. 4 outdated or worn price tags. 5. Signs stating prices cannot be changed at the register. That last point is particularly troubling. Some Dollar General stores have posted signs indicating that prices can't be adjusted at checkout. This practice seems designed to discourage customers from questioning price discrepancies, leaving you vulnerable to overcharges. Remember, as a prepper, every dollar counts. These pricing issues aren't just annoying, they can seriously impact your ability to build and maintain your emergency supplies. By staying alert and recognizing the signs of potential pricing problems, you can make more informed decisions about where to shop for your prepping needs. Now let's turn our attention to the legal battle unfolding in Ohio. This isn't just about a few pricing errors, it's about protecting consumers like you and me from deceptive practices that can seriously impact our preparedness efforts. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost has taken a stand against Dollar General's pricing discrepancies. He's filed a lawsuit against the company for violating the state's Consumer Sales Practices Act. This law is designed to shield shoppers from unfair and deceptive business practices, exactly what Dollar General has been accused of. Think about it. When you're trying to stretch your prepping budget, every cent counts. You rely on those shelf prices to plan your purchases. But if the price at checkout is higher than what's on the shelf, your careful budgeting goes out the window. That's why this lawsuit is so important for preppers and budget-conscious shoppers alike. The potential consequences for Dollar General are significant. Yoast is seeking a $25,000 fine for each store involved in these deceptive pricing practices. With hundreds of Dollar General stores across Ohio, we're talking about millions in potential fines. But it's not just about the money. Yoast is also demanding that Dollar General pay damages to affected customers. Remember those shocking error rates we talked about earlier? Well, they're at the heart of this legal battle. The lawsuit aims to force Dollar General to clean up its act and ensure that the prices you see on the shelf are the prices you pay at checkout. But here's where it gets really interesting. As part of the settlement, Dollar General is being required to ensure they have adequate staffing levels to keep shelf prices updated. They're also being told to honor shelf prices for customers who find discrepancies. That's a big win for preppers who've been burned by these pricing tricks in the past. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost didn't mince words when he spoke about the impact on consumers. He said, This is appalling behavior and should be answered for in a court of law. If you see this happening in a store near you, let my office know. 
We're here to protect Ohioans from being ripped off. Yost's words carry extra weight when you consider the current economic climate. With inflation driving up prices across the board, every dollar saved on your prepping supplies matters more than ever. When a company like Dollar General consistently overcharges, it's not just annoying, it's potentially devastating for those on tight budgets. So, what can you do to protect yourself? First and foremost, always check your receipts. Don't assume that the price you saw on the shelf is what you'll be charged at checkout. If you spot a discrepancy, speak up immediately. But it doesn't stop there. If you notice consistent pricing problems at your local Dollar General, report it to the Ohio Attorney General's office. Remember, your voice matters. By speaking up, you're not just protecting yourself. You're helping to hold these companies accountable and potentially saving other preppers from being overcharged. Here's a quick checklist to help you shop smart and protect your prepping budget. 1. Take a photo of shelf prices for items you're purchasing. 2. Use your phone's calculator to tally up your expected total. 3. Watch the register as items are scanned. 4. Review your receipt before leaving the store. 5. Politely point out any discrepancies to the cashier. 6. If the issue isn't resolved, contact store management. 7. Keep your receipt and report persistent problems to the Attorney General's office. By following these steps, you're not just safeguarding your own budget, you're contributing to a larger effort to ensure fair pricing for all shoppers. Now that we've uncovered the pricing pitfalls at Dollar General, let's talk about smarter shopping strategies for budget-conscious preppers. Remember, every dollar saved is another dollar towards your emergency supplies. First things first, let's explore some alternative shopping options. If you're looking for budget-friendly stores with more reliable pricing, consider places like Dollar Tree or Aldi. These retailers often have clearer pricing practices and fewer discrepancies between shelf and checkout prices. Think about it. Wouldn't it be nice to shop without constantly second-guessing the real cost of your prepping supplies? But here's the thing. No matter where you shop, it's crucial to stay vigilant. One effective strategy is to use price check scanners available in many stores. These handy devices let you verify prices before you reach the checkout. It's like having a secret weapon against pricing errors. For the tech-savvy preppers out there, consider using mobile apps that provide real-time price verification. Imagine being able to scan an item with your phone and instantly know if the price matches what's on the shelf. Now let's talk about a crucial habit every smart prepper should develop. Always check your receipts against shelf prices. I know, I know, it might seem tedious, but think about it this way. Those extra few minutes could save you significant money in the long run. And in the world of prepping, every saved dollar counts towards your emergency readiness. Here's another tip. If you spot a pricing discrepancy, don't hesitate to speak up. Many stores have policies to honor the lower price if there's a mistake. By politely bringing it to their attention, you're not just saving money, you're also helping to keep the store accountable. Remember, as a prepper, you're already ahead of the game when it comes to being prepared. Apply that same mindfulness to your shopping habits. Keep a running tally in your head or on your phone as you shop. This way, you'll have a good idea of your total before you hit the checkout, making it easier to spot any significant overcharges. Let's put all this together into a handy checklist for smart prepping on a budget. 1. Explore alternative discount retailers with better pricing track records. 2. Use in-store price check scanners or mobile apps to verify prices. 3. Keep a running tally of your expected total as you shop. 4. Always check your receipt against shelf prices before leaving the store. 5. Politely report any discrepancies to store staff. 6. Consider buying in bulk for items with a long shelf life to maximize savings. 7. Stay informed about local consumer protection laws and your rights as a shopper. 8. Report persistent pricing issues to your state's consumer protection agency. By following these steps, you're not just protecting your wallet. You're ensuring that every dollar spent goes towards building your preparedness supplies effectively. Think about it. How much more prepared could you be if you redirected all those potential overcharges into your prepping budget? An extra flashlight here, some additional batteries there… It all adds up to a more robust emergency kit. Always remember, being a smart prepper isn't just about stockpiling supplies. It's about making every dollar count. 
We've seen how stores like Dollar General can throw a wrench in your plans with misleading prices, but now you're armed with the knowledge to fight back. Think about it. Every time you double-check a price or report a discrepancy, you're not just saving money. You're protecting your preparedness plans. You're ensuring that your hard-earned cash goes towards real emergency readiness, not into some corporate pocket. So, what's your take on all this? Have you had similar experiences at discount stores? Maybe you've got some budget-friendly prepping tips to share. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's learn from each other and build a community of savvy, budget-conscious preppers. Remember, we're all in this together.